No, seriously. Me and Travis, we go hauling ass out of the CP. I call shotgun, Travis is gonna drive. It means Chris has gotta ride in the back. We get out to the Humvee, jump in. It's the one with the bullet holes in it, of course. I look at Travis and I'm like, got it! Travis slams his foot on the accelerator and all I hear is Chris saying, yeah! And I just look over my shoulder and I see Chris. He does a circus soleil flippy flip out of the Humvee and lands on his feet like a cat. It was a miracle. It was just a miracle. I couldn't believe it happened either. Hey! Hey, campers! What are you doing here? We're not filming today. Or are we? Hmm. I wonder what we could do today. There's a lot of things that we're trying to do with the dog kennel. They are slowing, slowly slowing down. The insulation is not here yet. Hopefully this week I'm gonna take it up to the actual RV guy and see about the window and the roof. Just, we're kind of, it's December. Nobody's, nobody's working in December. If we make it through December. But because it's December, that means it's a great time to, you know, pull out that cold weather gear that you've been waiting to pull out all year. Oh, I love this time of year. I get to wear my uh, rabbit fur hat that Little Spoon got me. Oh, it's a, it's a blessing. But I mean, look, really, look, I make this hat look good. If you're a rabbit fur company and you want, you know, somebody to model your hats, I, could, I think I can do it. Anyways, one of the things that I've ordered to make the dog kennel a little more hospitable was one of these ice code refrigerators. I hope I did the measurements right. If I did the measurements and calculations right, it's gonna fit in the back and we're gonna be able to access it through the hatch on either side. So hopefully this is gonna work. It might be just a little bit too long. But let's open it up and see what we got. Over here, let's go. You can watch from up there. There you go. It came really quick. Um, they had a sale, and I think they still have the sale going on right now. It only took like five days for this thing to show up once they figured out my shipping, because for some reason they won't ship to Dog Kennel Little Spoon. We had to use the ultimate address. This thing gets pretty good reviews. I'm sure if you're doing any Overland stuff, you've seen these a hundred times. You've seen these unboxings a hundred times, but definitely new for me. I like the new design. This is the it's kind of a different design this year, a different look to it. It looks it, it has a really military. Um, look to it. I'll start. I was worried when I saw the box because the box definitely won't fit <laughs> in the corner where I want this in the dog kennel but I'm sure it's just all the packing maybe it's going to be too big. I don't know. Looks pretty good. I like it. I like, I like the look of it. I like that black black look to it. It has a double opening lid so it should open from either way. If I, Figure it out. As it is with the handles on it, that puts it at 28 inches. I only have 28 inches in there, so it might not fit with the handles on it, but the, it's set up so you can take the handles off anyway. And it's going to be more of a permanent item in there. Let's come take a closer look. All right, guys, here we are. Oh, she's a smooth one. I like it. This particular model I really like because you can open it from either side, so it can open from this side, and then it can open from this side. So it can open from either way. Obviously, in a confined space like that, it's gonna give me access for, to both of the windows. It's got all your power stuff on this side right here. So everything you need, even outlets and stuff for connection to solar panels, your batteries and whatnot. And it'll give you a display all on this side, which is pretty awesome. Except it's gonna be against the wall, so I'm not really gonna see it. Now let's look at the inside. Here's a cool feature too. Let's see if I can make it make it work. Yeah, you can take the lid completely off. That's pretty neat. Pretty good lid, you know. They got your little instructions here to tell you how cool you need to have this thing if you got if you're a yucky person and you put fish in your cooler oh look at that who did this who who did this pepsi did you do this or ice co did you do this what is it what's this Comes a little great but man no wonder the shipping was so much you had all this diet pepsi in there if this irresistibly simple uncontestably tasteable and intimately wonderful you got the right one baby <laughs> Oh man, hey, thank you, PepsiCo. I wonder if they're cold. I mean, they do feel cold. It also comes with a bunch of extra parts, right? You got uh, you got your instruction manual. Nobody ever reads instruction manuals. You got all your little cables that you need to hook up to 12 volt or 
house power. It also comes with extra end caps, extra caps for the ends, which to me seems kind of weird, like, so you know that these are gonna break. But anyways, it comes with extra end cap, which is cool. It comes with an extra, an extra handle and a bunch of screws and whatnots to make this thing work. That's pretty bitchin', I like it. What I'm gonna do is we'll get it in the trailer and uh, see if I can, you know, pull a rabbit out of my hat. But it's pretty nice, I like it. I'm very happy with it so far. We'll probably fire it up tonight, see if it'll freeze anything, you know, put some water in here and try and freeze it. But outside of that, that's that first piece. No, of course I know you like it, but do you like it? Well, it, it doesn't come in woodland. You can't, everything can't do woodland. I mean, we could Cerakote it, but I mean, now you're gonna take a $600 refrigerator and turn it into a $1,000 refrigerator? Really? Oh, for you, of course. This spoon is just so woodland oriented. I don't understand where it comes from. We do have one other thing that I bought. But I also got, I also got their proprietary battery system that plugs right into the unit. From what I can tell, most of the people that reviewed this already, they're saying it's it's probably like a day tripper battery. So you have the capability of, uh, you know, going for a weekend and this battery will keep everything cold. So for me, it would just be kind of an auxiliary thing in case, because ultimately the dog kennel needs its own power system. This would be just kind of a, you know, fun thing to have if, if you're just gonna go somewhere in the truck or something and not, not take a power system. Look, oh man. A really good instruction book. It's got a lot of a lot of pictures and it's, it's made out of really good paper. Man, it's got a lot of cables out for, for dog on it. So let's see what we got. Oh, you know, we just got a we just got a wall charger. Wall charger, that's good. And then here's the unit. It's pretty sleek, right? Pretty nice. It's got a magnet, so it's supposed to stick to the cooler. It seems too heavy. Oh, look at that. Sticks right to the cooler, so you got your power system. What most people in the review say, and we'll we'll see if that's true, that you need two of them if you're gonna go for a weekend. You charge one with a solar panel while the other one's running the cooler. I was just looking for a secondary, kind of like a, you know, a secondary fighting position with this, just in case I needed to keep this thing cool. It also has a USB and a USB-C, or a, what do you call it, a C plug. So you can charge other things with this battery. Let's see if it can charge. Yeah, 39%. Oh, wait, what? Why did it go 188? I don't know. It appears that it's at 39%. Anyways, so I got the battery too. We'll play with all this stuff and see. So heavy. We'll play with all this stuff and see how it works and how well it chills the, the drinks. But again, I'm not the first one. So you can find 100,000 reviews on this ice chest. And, and the, you know, the crazy thing about the internet is there's so many different items and so many reviews you can get stuck, right? You can get stuck from just making a decision because you're like, well, what about this one? What about this one? And this review says this and that. Really, I like the way this looked and I really, really like the fact that it would open either way. That's kind of the thing that sold me on this particular one. And the company, I haven't seen any really bad reviews about the company. But anyways, if you're interested in a fur hat, Little Spoon knows where to get them. I think they're made in China. <laughs> right, Little Spoon? Anyways. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll get this in the rig and see if I was right. Lately I haven't been too right about the rig, so hopefully this is gonna be a win.